Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deadfire with me, Break It Dawn. Let's finish the first part of Maya's quest. Is he dead? Or must I handle everything myself? Maha crosses her arms and waits. You don't have to worry about your tail any longer. Is this so? Maha blinks, saving any hope for when she hears it from Maya. We took care of it, just like I said we would. Winking, Maya holds out at Sura's missives. Maha snatches the papers away with a blur. Glancing over the pages, Maha licks her thumb to turn each sheet. She nods, muttering under her breath. Everything seems to be in order. I'll see to it that these are addressed in good time. The edge of her mouth creeps up into a smile. What did it Sarah send you? I'm supposed to pass these down the line and into the next set of hands. More of what you've done here. That's discretion for you. She tips her shoulder with a lopsided shrug. That doesn't exactly answer my question. Doesn't it? That's all the answer I have. Oh, they messed up her name. That's why I tips her head, studying you with genuine curiosity. We should be going. It's been an absolute delight. Maya claps her hand. Atwaha winces at the contact. That's enough of that, soldier. Atsura will know your performance was adequate. She pulls back, wiping down her palm. And you, Watcher. Rawatai thanks you for your service. She bows stiffly. Maya, we're discussing what happened here later. Yeah, yeah, I thought we would. Shrugging. Maya delivers a hard and meaningful salute to Twaha, even as the other Rawatayan turns, acting in every way a stranger. I can tell that something's on your mind, and I owe you an explanation. Maya nods, tipping up her chin and stealing herself. Twaha is eccentric, I know. Even in the Navy, I never knew what to make of her. You might be asking yourself why one of the tribals would be stalking her. And if that has anything to do with our little mission. Mission. An interesting choice of words. Nodding. By a size. Atsura is doing important work in the dead fire. He's bringing peace, order, uh, bounty. Not everyone sees it that way, so he has to keep his intentions quiet. I know the secrecy doesn't look good, but I can promise you that this is for a better dead fire. I feel like all of this is obvious, but we'll ask it anyway. Her stalker wasn't just some creeper thief, was he? Probably not. Leave it to the Juana to distrust a lone Rawatayan who knows her business. Doesn't surprise me that they'd want to keep an eye on outsider business, or get in the way of it. Are you both spies? If I pass information from one place to the next, does that make me a spy? I suppose it depends on what side of the fence you're on. Is there anything else you're not telling me? Yes, of course there is, and plenty else besides. You think Atsura tells me everything? Whatever he has planned for the dead fire, I'm only a small part of it. But I still need to protect my part. Well, that's all. For now. You have every reason to be suspicious. Just trust me that this is all for the best. I wouldn't lie about that. I had some questions. I've got some answers. Okay. Instead so to look over our quest log off camera, uh, we have a couple bounties close to Port Maje and a couple close to Nekataka. So we'll knock out those four bounties on the way back to Nekataka. Red Sarens, Edir, Edir Wooden. What I next? The right island to get marooned. A giant, over. right out of the living lands. Don't joke. Who knows what that thing was? Sorry, didn't want to interrupt the voice acting. But we'll knock out those four bounties on the way back to Nekataka, and then return to the city and explore the island that's around the city. So I believe two of the bounties are to the southwest and west of Port Maje. I will double check that before we head out. Yeah, so Scylla Wave Skipper is to the southwest. And Mariel is to the west.
Okay, that'll hold us over for now. Uh, there's an island right beside us. Oh, and there's Mariel. Okay, so they're not on ships. Reading hers made me think she'd be on a ship to the west. This works too. So what are we up against here? She's an Animancer. We'd expect a wizard of some kind. Also, I have the wrong companions. Bring Jody along instead. We should have this in the bag. Open. We got trouble, folks. Uh, let's pull back a little bit further. Yeah. She's weak to piercing and burn. This guy's immune to burning, of course. Susceptible to crush. This does slashing and crush, right? No, slashing and piercing. Throw some summons in the back, keep them all distracted, and we'll even throw out a chilling fog. The chilling or chill fog? I just forget the name. Chill fog. So we're actually starting to bottleneck ourselves. I'm going to pull back again. Make sure I'm using my whole party. Main character's gonna finish the fight with Modweir. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
Black Bolt. Take him down. I am ready. A Palagina stand close by, so he gets the bonus accuracy. What can I do you for? Mo is Ixi on us. This doesn't usually happen. I swear. Great. What can I do you for? What now? Ah, thick worth than rough. Yes. On it. Alright, rest of that is junk. Why? Of course. I hope we get some decent pay out of this. Or doing these four bounties as well. But I do want to return to the palace when we get back to Nekataka. Try and knock out that training at the same time. Intellect is a little better on paladins yes, to make their auras a little bigger. And she's a chanter, so even more important. Okay, to the abandoned village. Between failed settlements and discarded Juana villages, the Dead Fire Islands are spotted with promising ruins. You discover a small village nestled in a hillside. It's silent save for the whistle of wind through open windows. As you near, you find the bodies of long dead kith on the street, the bones cracked and scored with the teeth of mar the teeth marks of a large beast. Now search the location. Take some time to search the abandoned village. And find what food hasn't yet perished. I keep searching this location. You continue looking around the village for anything you could use. And find nothing of value. Keep searching this location. <laughs> Alright, same dialogue. Now you find a small trinket hiding among the refuse. Keep searching. Right, more fire kelp. You search every corner of the village. There's nothing left worth taking with you. Oh, I keep getting these those darn potions. <laughs> The next bounty was to the south of Port Maje. Rudy Rabel. <laughs> Fourth level ranger, you're picking the wrong fight, buddy. Oh cool, so your companions do show up here. And your hirelings. So it is important to keep them equipped. 
So while he is weaker to crush damage, I'm going to keep Modware out since they're all kith. Well, except for the wolf companion up here. So not all of your companions are up here, though. Uh, Edwin is not... I'm drawing a blank on who else we're missing. Constantine is not doing super well. I did take all of his equipment away, so it's not his fault. Take him down. For you, buddy. Not even wrong. close. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Are we changing his order? That's okay. Got it. Resounding success. All right, morale gained 10, the crew earned 400 experience, the crew earned one sailor experience, Donald gained a rank, Battle gained a level, and a rank, Rumdum Regeri gained a level, Out Engram gained a level, Tupac gained a level, Shield Sister Dahlia gained a level, and Arena gained a level. Yeah, we'll share coins, give him a little bit of morale.
All right, the personal triumph of Rudy Rabel, captain of the Phelan Dig. So I wonder how our injuries work for companions that aren't in your party during boarding actions. So if we look at Constantine. We wouldn't see it here anyway. All right, let's explore this tiny island. No, seven cannon shot. All right, so there's a silhouette wave skipper. Oh, does it actually show it? No, it doesn't show all of them. If you reveal their location on the map, it does. All right, we're going to do a full loop around the edge of these islands. One down there as well. Let's go after a silhouette wave skipper next. All right, so she is on a ship. So I'm guessing... Yeah, it does specifically say that she sails the waters around a group of islands to the southwest of Port Maje. I'm going to board anyway. We need to kill her for the bounty. Intimidating her would not get us paid. I mean, it might. So she's jumping up here. The Kehu and Fasina might be okay. Good, they're nice and clustered up force. Rayleigh works in our favor. Let's go and get some regeneration out. I think we're okay here. This is futile. I probably shouldn't be throwing out too many spells uh -huh. since we are trying to grind out Modweir's uh, damage requirement. Let's go. Oh, 
Not sure I can. Take him down. I think you're good. Tell me. All right, mess up, Halogena. I should have done this first. Yeah. What? No. I don't see why not. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right, another resounding success. Any unique loot? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, so morale, experience. The crew earned two sailor experience. Donald gained a rank. Rum Dumber Gary gained a rank. Eld Engram, Chitupek, Haima, and Show Sister Dahlia all gained ranks. Oh, you give up all the coins. I thought it was a partial. That doesn't matter. We can sell this stuff and make money. I assume after a certain point, it's not going to matter. RPGs like this, you usually make enough money where it just... <laughs> where it's irrelevant. So we could go to this island real quick as well. Since we're over here. A solitary rice farm, it looks bountiful enough to welcome trade. Okay. Probably a bunch of stuff they don't need, but... I don't need it either, so... <laughs> Alright, so we should have enough tr uh, for the training at Kahanga Palace. Put up this island on the way back. Well, nothing here to hit up. Never mind. Alright, so the next two are. Yeah, so Desilla is south of Nekataka. That'll also be a ship fight. There's another one that said it was from Nekataka. That's a Sango. Yeah, we have a few quests uh, in and around the Hasango area, and we have a good amount near Tikawara. I swear there was another one. Oh no, I was mixing it up with this. Uh, the Kratapu Channel. Which is southwest of Nekataka. So we will go for... Oh, shucks. Where's it at? I need to look at it again because I don't remember what direction it was from Nekataka. South. Alright, perfect.
Get me to click on that. Sure. Uh, you catch the cat who glancing your way. He quickly focuses elsewhere and smooths back his hair when he notices your notices your attention. Excuse me. Something on your mind. Is there anything the watcher does not see? Takeu grins, but the look quickly diminishes. We have both seen the worst of the city. How the Reparo cluster like sea rats. Takeu's hand unconsciously strays toward his stomach. Delver's robe will take care of them for a time, but I say the crown will not suffer the Principi for long. How did the stone walls and paved lanes of Nekataka divide us so? He sighs, shaking his head. You have walked the length of Nekitaka's spine. How would you serve the needs of all these people at once? I mean, I think option one is the most rational, right? Like, start with what you have, and adapt from there. Yeah. I'd start with what you have and find a better system. A Kara, a practical solution, and one open to change. Nodding, Akeu absently tugs one of his hairs. For the moment, he seems totally withdrawn. Finally, he snaps back into focus, regarding you with a smile which seems both genuine and strained. I was hard pressed to find insight like yours in Pariki's overlook. Some of the tension leaves Takehu's shoulders, and he stands a little taller than before. I have more questions for you. You have questions? Ikara, I have answers. Okay, I think we call it here. Our next episode, we will wander the deck, speak to the crew and companions, and continue towards Nekataka. Take out the next bounty, return to the city itself, uh, turn in all the bounties, take care of our training, and then begin exploring the island around Nekataka. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.